Hey guys, it's Marcus here from AffiliateMarketingDude.com and in this video what we're going to do is a little site makeover. You guys might have seen one of my sites which is InstantWebHosting.org. On InstantWebHosting.org you'll notice that it's all about how to set up a website instantly with web hosting. Now the reason I created this site is because I want all those juicy expensive ads like you see here for AdSense and affiliate programs for web hosting. Now the problem is, is even though I've been making money on this site, I'm not making as much as I can, obviously because the site's not up to par, right? It's not looking that nice, the way that it's designed isn't that great, uh, the images aren't working. So what we want to do is we want to kind of spruce this thing up. All right, so you can notice on Google we are ranking number one for instant web hosting, which does get some traffic. But now what we got to do is we've got to utilize that traffic and milk it for all that it's worth. Now, in this video, video number one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to make a logo for your site using a program that costs less than $50. And you can go through and create a logo that says, hey, you know what? I'm a reputable company. I got some good info. But it also doesn't scream, hey, don't look at this site, look at the logo. Okay, we want it to be subtle, but also just kind of like giving them comfort. All right, and what happens is you'll notice that in your market, whatever market you're in, the three seconds that a person visits your site, the first three seconds are the most critical. And they're going to be judging your site. So when you look at this site, they're going to judge it on getting the cloud together and easy ways to create a site. Okay, so it's not going to be that great. We want to kind of control this content, and that's what this video is about. So first and foremost, before we get into creating the theme and redoing the theme, let's go ahead and dive into the Logo Creator, which is a little software that you can get. I'll put a link on um, affiliatemarketingdude.com slash logo. That's affiliatemarketingdude.com slash logo. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a special link for you, my affiliate link for this uh, software that you can get. You can create logos for yourself, logos for your clients, and basically whatever you want. I mean, once you have this thing, you can go for it. I've had this for many years, over 10 years now. Uh, I've been using variations of this software, so you definitely want to get it. And the benefit for going through my link, obviously, is you keep these videos free by paying the rent here. And you also get some cool videos on how to use this as well as my bonus. So what we're going to do first and foremost, we're going to go through and we're going to select a logo set. Okay, the logo set, some of them come with the product, some of them are add-ons. We're going to go through and find something that says, hey, you know what, here's some cool web hosting, uh, something that kind of says, you know, we're trustworthy, we got some information for you. So we're going to go through the templates like this and find something that, uh, that kind of fits what we're going after. Okay, we got like this little guy here, or the tea company, uh, the golf guy. All right, and we're just going to kind of go through till we find something that, uh, that looks good, something that kind of sparks our interest, but not too, too standing out uh, because we don't want it to distract from what we're trying to do. Okay, so we can do like these little cartoon guys here. Uh, we can do pretty much whatever we want, something that looks decent, um, something that works. Okay, let's see what we have. We've got like a little frog here. Okay, and you can go through each of these and, and figure out something that's going to work for you. Okay, let's try corporate. Okay, there's something that looks kind of cool. That's kind of cool. I'm looking for something very simple since this is hosting and it doesn't really require a whole lot in the logo. Okay, let's see what this looks like. Eh, that's a little too basic. All right, so maybe something like that. A little hard to read. Okay, yeah, just kind of keep cruising through all these and find something. Um, I kind of like the way this looks. We could start with this. Now, what I'm going to do, you'll notice at the top, it's 560 by 420 is the default size. What I'm going to do is I'm going to stretch this out to 1,000 because that is what we're usually using on our blog header is 1,000 or 1,100 or something like that. Okay, so I just stretch it out till it gets to 1,000 right like this. Okay, and then of course because it's 420 we're going to shrink it up. We want it to be like 100 so that it fits up here in our host. Obviously, you know, creating this big old honking thing ain't going to fit up here and you don't want your header to be that big anyway. Okay, so what we're going to do, I'm not going to use these JR things. 
Okay, I might use the swoosh, so we'll keep him here. We'll just put him over here. I do like this text, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and move him up here, okay? And we can do something here. We'll just go ahead and edit the text. We'll put instant web hosting.org, okay? Right like this. And you can see, oops, let's see here. Get rid of this. All right, we'll try that again. Instantwebhosting.org. Okay, and we'll go ahead and edit the current text like this. You can see it changes it to instantwebhosting.org. And I am going to remove this little swoosh here and the right and this tagline. Okay, so we're going to take this here. We're going to shrink it down by clicking Format and then just change your scale. I like this. You can see how easy it is. And then we're going to go ahead and... Let's see how we want to make this look. We could go through and click on images and then just kind of choose an image. These are all the images that were uh, included in the other stuff as well. So we could put like little people there. Uh, we could put like a sign looking thing. Anything we want that, uh, you know, has something to do with hosting and also looks nice. Okay. Again, we want this to look good, but we don't want it to uh, overtake what we're doing and you see once you find something you can just like drag and drop it in there super easy uh, we go to shapes you can go to uh, little swooshy things like this that's kind of cool looking right and then of course you could just kind of go here and uh, edit it you could go to you can you know go to modify and then send it to the back or whatever you want so it's like that um, it, so it's really, really easy to use. Um, again, that's why I use this because I don't want to spend too much time on my themes because those are not what makes me the money. Okay, very, very, very important. So we're going to go through. We got textures here. Uh, we could do something like grass if we wanted to do the grass. Um, you know, something that looks looks pretty cool, right? Like this, or you could do the grass, or you know, whatever you want. And again, the key is just kind of play with it until you get something that looks good. Again, do not spend too much time on it because this is not what makes your money. Um, so, you know, just uh, pay close attention to how much time you're spending on your theme. I would say on your logo, spend a maximum of, you know, 15 minutes or so. Uh, if you get over 15 minutes, then you're getting into, um, you know, precious time that you could be using on making money. Okay, so we could take something like this make it scale it smaller right like this okay and then you can also put another one in if you want to do that scale him the same size right like this a little bit smaller okay and then what you could do is you could actually flip it over on the other side right like this and now it's kind of cool looking right it's like uh, instant web hosting cool right so really really simple um, again, don't take too much time on this. It's not that important. Okay, right like this. And then once you're done and you have it the way you want, you can actually go through and either use Snagit or you can save it yourself. Just kind of shrink this up like this. Uh, you could shrink it down to the size that you want like this. Okay, and we'll just make it like this. And then you just go ahead and hit File, Save As. And then you can save it as, as whatever you want. You could actually, I think, export. Export. And we'll do it as a PNG transparent. Okay. And we could just go ahead and save this as instant web host. Okay, right like that. Then what you'll notice is that once it's created, it will actually be in your pictures file. Right like this. And you'll see it as instant web host, which is, where do we go? You can see some other ones I made. There he is right there. Okay, there's what your logo looks like. So really simple, really easy. And uh, what we're going to do next is just go ahead and use this with our Artisteer. Okay, so to use it with your Artisteer, all you have to do is open up your theme or create a new theme. Okay, and then you're going to go to header. And all you got to do is go into from file. Browse, go into your pictures, and you're going to notice again our iWebHost file that we created, and bam, there you go. Now all we got to do is import this and mess around with the sizing a little bit. Obviously, we can go in here and do 
you know, 100 as the size. Uh, we could change where our headline is. You know, we can change the size of our headline. Uh, pretty much anything that we want to do. And uh, it's super easy. So we just go here, we'll do our text, and we could do size, you know, you could do like 12 or whatever, and put that right here. Okay, and the reason I'm keeping the headline and slogan text is because of the fact that I want the search engines to uh, pick up my headline and slogan text. Okay, so as small as they are, um, they will be picked up, which is, which is what we're after here. Okay, and you can even do like italics like this, and you could take away the bold so that it's not, you know, overpowering everything else. And again, this is to be extremely simple, um, and we don't want to do too much work on it. Okay, so we'll go in and we'll take the bold off this one. And let's see here, style bold. We'll just go regular. Okay, and now it'll say, you know, whatever our instant web hosting is here and it's got our header. So like all, already you could see the difference between this junky looking site and this with the instant web hosting, right? It's starting to look a lot better and it's starting to look a lot easier on the eyes. Next thing you wanna do is go ahead and take a look at your sheet, your layout, um, and you can go to your sheet width. We're gonna go ahead and increase this a little bit. Uh, we're gonna increase this to 1100, right like that, okay? That way it's a little bit bigger. And then we can go over to our sidebar, which is our uh, sidebar, I believe it is our, let's see, menu. Now the menu's here. Um, it would be in our layout, I believe. There we go, columns, right? And then when we go to columns, obviously on two column, we can just go to margin and uh, custom width. Okay, we're gonna take a look at this. And it should be about 350, uh, 325 to 350. Uh, that way you can fit all your opt-in stuff, all your ads and everything like that. And now we are done. Now you can see we just edited that theme really, really easily. We can go ahead and export that. And we'll export it as a WordPress theme. We'll do instant web host, right like this, export. And now all we have to do is go over to our blog here and just log in WP admin. Oops, let's go ahead and do this in lowercase. WP that admin. Okay, and we're gonna go ahead and why are we not logging in here? And once we log into our WordPress dashboard, we just go to appearance, themes, and then we'll go ahead and add the new theme. And we're gonna choose the theme that we just made by clicking upload, browse, and I believe we saved it in Dropbox with all the rest of them. And you basically just go to, where do we go? There we go. Okay, we go down to Instant Web Host IWH and go ahead and install it. Okay, and you'll notice that instantly it's going to start to look a lot better. So instantly what we have is, once we reload it, okay, let's go back to our main page and reload it. And you can see that it's already starting to look a lot better. We have shared and dedicated web hosting. If you want to be really picky about it, you can actually go ahead and change uh, where this looks. But you can see that it's already starting to look a lot better um, and easier. Okay, so because I'm picky, I'm going to go ahead and move this over here uh, as well. Maybe like right here. Um, that way it shows up. Or you could even do it like under here if you want and just make it really, really, really small. And we'll do like a 10 font, and we can do it, you know, center it like that. Okay, and then once you're done, you just export it. I usually do like Instant Web Hosting 2. That way I know when I go to my blog, I can do themes, and then I can go to Add New, Upload, and we'll just get number two here. Get number two right there, install, and we'll go ahead and activate it. And then you can visit your site and see what it looks like. So really easy, you can see that already uh, this is starting to look better. Um, we're gonna clean up some of these pages here. We're gonna clean up some of the uh, links that we have that are dead. 
and we're gonna make this thing to where it can actually start making some money so really cool stuff uh, definitely want to focus on this want to get rid of these image ads here and only show uh, text ads because those are what converts all right so cool you can see instant web hosting shared and dedicated web hosting really easy it's got um, hey check it out we're, we're legit kind of look to it but it also brings you into the content so hope you enjoyed this video uh, to get the logo software go to um, affiliate marketing dude.com slash logo I'm gonna have some cool stuff for you there some cool tools for you to use and some videos on creating logos and you can even build them and sell them if you want or create local sites or whatever uh, this little $50 program or 30 bucks or whatever it is uh, is worth its weight in gold so get it use it and again don't spend too much time on your logo and your theme design uh, focus more on the stuff that makes money. So I hope you enjoyed this. Watch for video number two. Again, go to affiliatemarketingdude.com slash logo. That's where I'm going to host all the videos from this sequence so that you can go through and learn how to use them and make money. So I hope you enjoyed this about uh, editing the logo on your WordPress and your theme editing, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks again, affiliatemarketingdude.com slash logo.